So, good afternoon to you all, our wonderful friends and family. On behalf of my beautiful wife and I, I'm, I'm sure you can agree how gorgeous Olivia looks today. We'd like to thank you all for being with us today to help celebrate this special occasion. It's certainly a pleasure to finally be able to welcome you all here. And that leads me nicely onto my gorgeous bride, my Mrs. Pines. My biggest thank you of them all has to go to you, partly for putting up with me all these years and actually turning up today, but mostly for the wonderful day you've planned for us, allowing us to celebrate our love and marriage with our family and friends. Without you and all your hard work and organisation, today would never have, never have happened. You've basically had to plan three weddings. In all honesty, it's been an amazing experience and joy for both Francis and myself watching Olivia growing up over the years. We couldn't have wished for a more caring, loving and thoughtful daughter. Her passion and drive shines through in whatever she sets her mind to. She has already achieved so much on her journey through school and university and now in a successful career at the Essex University, which has made us two very proud parents indeed. It brings a tear to my eyes that our beautiful baby girl is about to fly the nest. It's been said there are two lasting bequests we can give our children. One is roots and the other is wings. I'm sure Olivia has both. Francis and I would both like to give our best wishes and love to Chris and Olivia, wishing them every happiness in the world for their future together. I think most fathers with a daughter tend to be a little overprotective and my initial thoughts were to give Chris a bit of a hard time. <clears throat> By putting him on the spot, giving him the third degree, a bit of a grilling all to ensure his intentions were honourable. Sadly, I never had this pleasure, as Chris turned out to be a genuinely nice guy, who any father of the bride would be proud to have as their son-in-law, and in no time at all became part of the family. I would like to take this opportunity to formally welcome Chris into the family, and can I apologise if some family members are scarier than others. I won't mention any names. I, Christopher Allen Pines. Take you, Olivia Francis Hume. Take you, Olivia Francis Hume. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. As I take you to be my wife, as I take you to be my wife, I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To honour and respect you. To honour and respect you. I will stand by you. I will stand by you. And be true to you always. And be true to you always. I will care for you. I will care for you. Laugh with you when you are happy. Laugh when you are happy. And comfort you when you are sad. And comfort you when you are sad. Whatever our lives may bring. Whatever our lives may bring. I will always love you. I, Olivia Francis Hume. I, Olivia Francis Hume. Take you, Christopher Allen Pines. Take you, Christopher Allen Pines. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. As I take you to be my husband. As I take you to be my husband. I promise to love you. I promise to love you. To honour and respect you. To honour and respect you. I will stand by you. I will stand by you. And be true to you all and be true to you always. I will care for you. I will care for you. Laugh with you when you are happy. Laugh with you when you are happy. And comfort you when you are sad. And comfort
comfort you when you are sad. Whatever our lives may bring. Whatever our lives may bring. I will always love you. I will always love you. Therefore, gives Val and I the greatest of pleasure to tell you, you are now husband and wife. Thank you again for marrying me and for making me the happiest man alive. I'm not sure about you, but there were certainly the usual pre-wedding butterflies that people talk about this morning. When I thought about it, I knew that marrying you was a no-brainer. You are my best friend and soulmate and that person I cannot keep a secret from. The person that I immediately want to tell as soon as I hear some juicy gossip <laughs> or important news, be it good or bad. I'm so proud to call you my wife and I'm so happy that we get to continue making memories together. I love you so much, Liv. And I cannot wait to annoy you for the rest of our lives. <laughs> so we all please be, please be outstanding and join me in raising a toast to my gorgeous bride, Olivia. <laughs> Olivia. Yeah.